The residents of Makodi in Benue State have been reacting to the president's directive for the full implementation of the Steve Orosanya report on the restructuring of government agencies and parastatals. Now, why they applaud Mr. President for the bold step? They also said the number of appointees in the federal cabinet is worrisome and does not reflect current economic realities in Nigeria. Jimmy Anzande reports. The 800-page document for restructuring the Federal Civil Service, publicly known as the Orasio Report, was a brainchild of the administration of former President Goodluck Jonathan. According to Makudi residents, implementation of the report is long overdue and commended the political will of President Bola Tinubu. Yes, the move by the federal government to more or less reform the federal civil service is in the right direction. And for most of us, we we'll said say it is something that is long, long overdue. And uh, of course, it's better late than never. Uh, we believe that if we're implemented, of course, that will not just save cost, but will strengthen processes within the civil service and indeed reduce corruption to a large extent. For Mr. President to see to it that uh, the Oresa report is implemented at this time, that um, things are very tough, I think it's a good development. I, the only reservation I have is that he too has appointed a very large cabinet. So is he going to start with his own cabinet? And I think uh, the, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Ahmed Bolatino, uh, taking the bold step to implement uh, the Orosanias report, in my own opinion, is quite commendable. Because the report, uh, the report goes down to, to cutting cost of governance and also increasing and uh, making government to save more money for other uh, projects and uh, government expenditures. They called on the state governors to emulate the president in this regard and save their state's resources through reduction in cost of governance. There is a lot of uh, lack of transparency at the state level across the board. Mm -hmm. For instance, we don't know what is coming to most states and how monies that are coming to the states are being disbursed. Uh, we hope that the state government will take a cue from what the federal government is doing and be more transparent to the people, be accountable to the people and also try as much as possible to minimize costs. We have a lot of governors flying here and there for occasions that are not very relevant at this difficult time. The issue of cutting down cost of government have been in the, on the front burner over time. So all arms of government should adopt this uh, strategy so that we will make maximum use of the little resources that we have. Most of these agencies, the state government can actually fuse them under one agency, fuse them under one parastatal, cut costs and uh, save more money and uh, uh, reduce the cost of governance across the state. It is left to be seen if the president will make good his directive for the implementation of the Oransaya report, which was presented many years ago. Jimmy Azandi, Trust TV News, Makodi.